Hi guys, I'm super, super excited because I'm going to unbox for the first time the legendary Dragon MPC, which is mass production copy, which is the, the sample, well, it's not a sample, it's exactly what everybody who bought the Dragon will receive, will have when you buy it. Uh, this is the most, the biggest, uh, the biggest expansion, well, the most popular expansion we had during the Kickstarter. We saw tons and tons of them. It was super, super uh, uh, popular and a very iconic mini because it's the big dragon. It's, it's the biggest dragon on the market. And we, we were, well, you know, I'm in love with this mini. I mean, he's my baby. He's my baby. I want to see this baby, how he turned out. So, uh, first of all, as you can see, the, uh, the box is, is massive, it's huge, it's, it's bigger than the core box actually, uh, and it's like solid cardboard, it's, uh, as you can see on the back, uh, you have a little background uh, in French and English, because every expansion for Time of Legends Joan of Arc comes in two languages, French and English, so you have everything twice. You have uh, the rule book or the scenario book in English. You have the cards in English. Uh, so everything is in two languages. It's just for the core box. The core box only comes in one language. So if you chose the English version of uh, the core box, you will only have the English uh, uh, rule book, the English scenario book, and the English cards. You will not have the French one. Okay, so it's a big box, uh, nice, uh, nice layout, nice art. Oh gosh, look at that. The box that holds the dragon is so massive, so massive. It's, it's this. So, I'm, I'm a bit nervous, actually. It's, it's the first time I open a, a dragon box. Usually the dragons that we received, we had them separately. But this time, this one is coming as you will all have it. Oh, wow. First of all, I can tell you, he's very heavy. He's, uh, he's very big and heavy. So well, let's start with the, the little minis that come with. Um, so this is Michael, the Archangel, Saint Michael. So, of course, he's specialized in fighting the dragon. He's gorgeous. He's so detailed. He's, ah, he's, a, he's a beauty. And we have a Bombard, because you know to harm the, uh, the dragon, you better, uh, you better have cannons. And, uh, of course, uh, the Bombard comes with, uh, with two servants, two crew members. And it will be nice to, to, have, uh, to have them next to the dragon to, to compare the size. Yes, the, the angel, uh, Michael, is, is taller than a normal uh, sized human because he's, he's an archangel. So, as you can see, the two uh, wings are separate and this is the only thing you will have to, to put on, on the dragon. So, uh, the dragon is tied uh, to the, the plastic box and I'm, 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 I first have to untie it. It's pretty simple. Okay, and then it's, it's wrapped into a little plastic. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. So I'm I'm going to put the, uh, the two wings, so I think it should be pretty simple. Of course, people can glue them if they want. So you simple, simply, yes. And it holds, that's very, very simple. Uh, let me do that with the second wing. Yes, oh, it's very, very simple. And there you, there you are. You have the gorgeous, Amazing dragon. Look, look at in all his glory. He's super big, super detailed. I mean, you you can see all the scales. 
you got to be careful with the, the wings. They're very pointy, so just be, be careful with children. And now you can see him next to normal size minis. He's uh, small. Let me put this back on. Yeah. He's really, really big. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him next to a... Wow. He's massive. Uh, for people to know, uh, from one point of the wing to the other, the wingspan is 54 centimeters. 54 centimeters wingspan. Uh, he's really huge. I mean, uh, a whole human will fit into his mouth, just to give you an, an, an example. Uh, if, if he was a real size uh, dragon, he would probably be from head to toe. Uh, not to toe, to, to the tip of his uh, tail, he would be 70 meters long. So that's really, really, really big. Okay, well, we have some other things, but of course it's a bit uh, shadowed by, <laughs> by this huge, huge uh, dragon. As I said, you can unclip the, uh, the wings if you want and put them back if you want to store him. Or if you want to make sure it never falls, uh, you, can, you can glue the wings. So, what do we have? We have cards. As you know, they are in uh, French and English. So we have Archangel Saint Michael or Archange Saint Michel. So this is the level two, this is the level one. You see he's super, super strong. Um, and we have the Bombard, which was introduced with him, I think. Uh, so this is the most powerful cannon from the Hundred Years War. And then, of course, uh, well, you see, you have like these little uh, plastic bags uh, where you can put your cards uh, if you want to store them. And so it's always a little useful and nice thing. You have the two little booklets with uh, the scenario, one in French, one in English. So if I look at the English one, you have this scenario oh, that I play tested several, several times. I can tell you it's really, really cool. It's, uh, it's uh, very balanced. It's very fun for both uh, the dragon or the human player. You, because one will play the dragon, the other will play uh, the, the members of uh, the Saint Michael uh, Saint Michel uh, Chapel. Uh, so the dragon wants to destroy this symbol of his defeat uh, because the dragon is actually the devil who took this the shape of a dragon and uh, the the devil was first defeated uh, I don't remember how long ago but probably uh, uh, 600 years before this happens again and this is why Mont Saint Michel the Mount Saint, Saint Michael or Saint Michel was created and it's actually a, a place that exists in France. It's a beautiful place, Mont Saint-Michel. And uh, they celebrate the anniversary of this victory uh, of Saint Michael over the devil dragon. And so uh, the dragon comes back in, in the form of, a, of a, a dragon and he wants to destroy everything. So if he can, if he manages to do that, he won, uh, the, dev, the, the dragon wins. And if Saint Michael and the humans in, in the chapel uh, kill the dragon, they win. <clears throat> so it's a very simple, straightforward, very interesting uh, scenario. Uh, and we will have another one online, uh, with, which would be a co-op scenario versus an AI. Uh, the dragon will have an AI and you will have to play. This will be published online. And of course, you can use uh, the dragon in the battle mode, he's the most expensive uh, unit or 
creature in the game. I think he's around 1,200 points, which means if you play a 2,000 point army, uh, points army, uh, two-thirds of your army are with just the dragon, but then you can have some other things. But he's a, a formidable uh, creature. He, he's, he, he has, there are many things that he can do because he can, he can uh, throw fire uh, on top of uh, attacking and then doing his gigantic attacks. He can fly so he can go in the, in the sky and then come back the next turn. He's really, really dangerous and terrifying. <laughs> then we have uh, some punch boards. So you have them, some of them with uh, uh, a footprint of the dragon when, when he has ravaged a, <laughs> a, uh, an, a hex. You have a new sky tile here, which is a Tempest one with special rules. And you have, of course, uh, the dragon uh, uh, tile, well, the dragon board. You have it in English on one side and in French on the other side. The dragon has 20 hit points and he has two uh, armor at all times. So that means when you do an attack, he ignores the first two points for each attack. So he's really, really tough to kill. So, you know, this is the most iconic mini in this game uh, because it's Joan of Arc, but we have all the, uh, the fantasy, all the creatures that people believed in at this time. And the dragon is the most iconic one. Uh, uh, they know that the, the dragon is a form for the devil. They know he's evil. He's dangerous and uh, I personally fell in love with the Mini as soon as I saw it. It was a very long process to design, to create. Uh, we wanted this to be playable, we didn't just want it to be uh, uh, something that you put on a, on a shelf, we wanted people to play with it. So the size of his, uh, the size of, uh, his base is exactly the size of a hex. So it fits on a hex, so he will, he will play on hexes, so if I take him, I put it uh, on, on a hex, you see, he completely fills uh, the hex. So he's really playable, you can play with him. Uh, and of course you can, <coughs> some people will use this uh, beautiful mini in other, other games, because even though uh, the game is uh, 15 mil or 16 mil, uh, half the size of a normal 32 mil uh, scale, even for 32 mil, he's still huge. You could use it, uh, him in other games and he would still be gorgeous and big. So this is it. Uh, the dragon, we, we have it here. I'm very, very, very excited. I'm very happy of how he, he turned out. Uh, there's no difference with the, uh, the resin thing. You have all the detail. Every single scale is there. You're going to have a blast playing. Thank you.